In this video, we will have a look at explicit intent. Now remember explicit intent is just intents where we send through messages in our own application. And as an example for, for this video, we will just have a look at how can we send through messages so that we can start different activities in our application. And then also, how can we send data through to different activities? Remember, an activity is basically just a new screen to the user. So if I'm saying I'm creating a new activity, I'm essentially creating a new screen. So let's go to the main activity first. And we're going to design a few things on the main activity. And then when we're done, we'll move on to the next activities. So let's go to the text tab at the bottom. And I'm going to change my relative layout here to a linear layout. So just some layout components that we need to set up first before we can actually work with intent. And I'm going to add an Android orientation property and set it to vertical, just to have a vertical linear layout. I'm going to remove that text view. And then we have a blank application or a blank activity. So now in this activity, what I want to do is to drag in a plain text, edit text. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to give that edit text an ID of ET, let's call it name, ET name. You click on it again, uh, the layout width and height is fine. We need to add a hint there. I'm going to remove the text property there. So if you click on the text property, let's just remove the text property there and then click on the component again. Let's go to the strings XML to so go to values, strings XML, and let's add the hint there. So I'm going to add a new property and I'm going to call that one hint underscore name. So that's the ID for the string. And then the string itself will be please enter your name as an example. And we're going to save it. Now let's go back to activity main XML. Click on your component again. Go to the hint property. And if you remember what you called it, you can just start typing it. Hint name there. Otherwise, you can click on the three dots and just select it from uh, the menu there. So there's please enter your name. Let me let me just make this a bit bigger. Please enter your name. The next thing I want to do there is to go to view all properties and I'm going to go to the layout margin and add a left margin of 15, a right margin of 15, a top and a bottom margin, margin of 15 as well. So it will look something like that. You can see some margins at the top and the left. And the right, you can't really see the one at the bottom, but there's one at the bottom as well. So let's go down then to the gravity property and set the gravity to center horizontal to just have your text centered inside of the component. Now, after this, our edit text is basically done. Let's add a button. I'm going to add the button. Go to the top. For this example, I'm going to give my buttons also an ID to show you a different way of handling uh, button clicks. So we're going to use this one and say btn activity 2, btn activity 2, which means that if we're going to click this button, we want to go to activity 2. So that's why I gave it that name, btn activity 2. So for buttons and IDs, I start off with a btn and then something descriptive. So on the button itself, then that's the ID. I'm going to add the layout margin at the left, 15 on the right. 15 and at the bottom 15 is already got 15 at the top between this one and that one now the text for the button and that's why we've got this little red error there doesn't like us using a uh, hard-coded text on the button so let's go to the strings XML and we're gonna say string uh, let's call this one BTN activity 2 and then we're gonna say go to activity two and then we're going to have another button as well so let's set up that string so we're going to have a btn activity three and then also say go to activity three and then we can save now let's go back to the main activity so there's the button the text on the button should be btn activity two and it will show the text go to activity two so now let's do the same thing for the next button. Also have a layout margin on the left of 15, the right of 15, and that should do it. Or maybe just add up one at the bottom as well. Bottom 15. 
Okay, so the button looks fine. And then if we click on the button again, let's go to the text property and we choose Activity 3 to take the text of Go to Activity 3. For this button also, let's give it an ID. So I'm going to say BTN Activity 3. Activity 3, and there we go. So now for these components, I've got an ID, ET name, I've got an ID, BTN Activity 2, and I've got an ID, BTN Activity 3, and it looks fine. The last thing I want to add is a normal text view at the bottom. And for that text view, let's set the margin on the left as 15, on the right as 15, and the top should already have the 15 there. Click on that text view again. Let me just zoom in a bit. Go down to the bottom. Somewhere along the line, you'll see text style. I'm going to make it bold and italic. And then let's make the size of the text an 18, just to be a bit bigger. And then if we go back to the strings XML quickly, let's just add text for that one. So that is for, let's say, the message. And what we're going to say there is something like data from activity 3 will be displayed here. Okay, so then let's go back to the main activity, click on the text view, go to the text property at the top. There's a text property, and we're going to choose the text property of message. And it will show data from activity 3 will be displayed here. Okay, and then let's just add some colors there. So let's go to the, both buttons, and let's look at the background property there. And just start typing color, and let's use the primary dark color there. So I'm going to use that one, and click away, and then it looks like this. Click on both of those again, and let's just go down to the bottom and set the text color to a hash 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Fs, which is basically a white. So just to, to add some color and a bit more life into our application. So there we've got it. We've got our edit text with ET name, our two buttons, BTN Activity 2 and Activity 3, and then for this one we also need an ID, so we're going to call this one TV Message. Okay, so we've got our 1, 2, 3, 4 components on the screen. Let's quickly connect them in the main activity. So in the main activity, we've got one edit text, and if I go back, that edit text ID is ET name. So we're going to say ET name there, then we have two buttons. One is BTN Activity 2 and the other one is BTN Activity 3. So we'll have button uh, BTN Activity 2 and BTN Activity 3. So those are the first three components. And then we've got the text view, which is TV message. So that one will just be text view TV message okay so now we've got them declared let's set them up quickly et name equals now et name is an edit text so we need to cast it to an edit text again using the find view by id method and then r.id.et will list all of your edit texts and there we go linked up now for the two buttons let's just first do the TV message so it's going to be TV message equals text view. Find the view by its ID. R.ID.TV will then list all my text views if you name them correctly. And there we are linked up to the TV message. Now for the two buttons. So setting up a button works exactly the same way. So we're going to say BTN activity 2 equals, because this is a button, you need to cast it to the correct view. And again, you get the ID by just going to BTN activity 2. So let's set up that button as well. Activity 3 equals also button find the view by its ID and that's the third or BTN activity 3. So now all of the components are linked to but the buttons won't work if we don't set an on click listener for them. So we're going to do just another way of doing buttons instead of just using the normal just go back instead of normal using the normal on click method there or the on click property so now instead of doing that we can just go and say btn activity 2 
dot set on click listener and then in brackets you will say new on click listener and you can see it fills out the details for you you just can you can just click on it and it creates that inline method for you okay so there's the btn activity 2 so then we're going to have btn activity 3 dot set on click listener new on click listener and then in these two on click methods that we've got there is what will happen when we click on either one of those two buttons so to just test it out quickly just use a normal toast uh, i don't think we've done toasts before so a toast you can see you've got two choices there if you choose the the bottom one it will create a new toast with everything filled out for you so a toast is a small message that appears on the phone we're going to see that now the first argument is your context where are you showing this specific toast in this case we're over the main activity so it's going to be main activity dot this you can also just reference this if you like the second argument is the text that you want to display so i'm going to say in or clicked activity two and then the third argument there is how long do you want to show this message and then you must have the dot show method to actually start showing it so i'm going to copy this line and going to go and paste it there and that one should be just activity three so if we now run the app on the virtual device okay so my app is currently running if i click on the button go to activity two you can see that the toast is showing clicked activity two when i click on it so the toast is showing nicely if i click on the second one it says clicked activity three so for now, our main activity is up and running and everything is working. So I'm going to stop the video here and then we're going to continue on the next video to see how we can create a new activity and then moving between the activities.